So today might just be the day. It's 5.30 a.m. and that is Padar Island in the Komodo Islands. I'm on a two day, one night boat trip, but actually yesterday was more of a warm up. Today is the day. Waiting for the sun to come up. It's a lovely view. Clearly one of the main attractions here is the Komodo dragons. This area is the only place in the world where you can see them. And so that's why I came. So today we're doing Pada Island, Komodo Island, go and see the biggest lizards on the planet. Um, and then we go and see a pink beach. So the coral is pinkish, reddish, and then hopefully swim with mantas. So if everything goes to plan, it could be one hell of a day. Boats are down there. When the sun comes up fully, it's going to hit those ridges and make lots of nice shadows. I really hope we see a Komodo dragon and mantas and that the weather holds up. Very pretty, very peaceful morning. You can't beat a good sunrise. The climb up takes about 10, 15 minutes, maybe a bit longer. I think it's 880 steps, but it's nothing to be worried about. Yes, sir. The best thing about it, everybody seems to have got their photos and buggered off. So I've got the platform to myself now. I think that is one of the pink beaches. I think there's five. You can see a sort of reddish hue if you squint. Good start to the day. Good start to the day. Just got down to the bottom and there's deer. Deers just chilling on the beach. I'm not expecting to find a deer here. Maybe they're scared of the Komodo dragons. What are you doing here, guys? You look like a reindeer. You should be in Finland. <coughs> Stay away from the Komodo dragons, guys.
sleep. Pretty basic, but the engine is so loud. Pink Beach. It's not that pink. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's sort of pink if you don't look at it directly. It's because sort of look through the corner of your eye. I thought that this is the, uh, the most pinkest than uh, another Oh, really? Beach. Oh, but it's not, yeah. It's... Oh, really? I mean, it's, you ready. can see it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. There is red pigment where the water starts. Pink coral. Nice. It's a little bit silly that they pick all of it up and then put it to show next to the... Um, can you see that? Right, we've made it to the Komodo Island, the big island. See some Komodo dragons. Please. Pink beach, take it or leave it, it's pretty. I mean, this is going to sound really spoiled, but it's pretty. It's sort of pinkish. Uh, the water's clear, but there's not much to do there. We stayed there for probably 30 or 40 minutes. This is why we're here. Komodo dragons. Quick trivia, apparently they can eat up to 80% of their body weight, which sort of boggles the mind. And I think they grow up to 10 feet or 300 pounds, 150 kilos around that. They're big. Biggest lizard in the world. Oh, come on. At least it's windy. Shirt might be the wrong choice. Show yourselves. One thing, we had to pay 500,000 on top of the 1.6 million I paid for the boat because you have to pay entry fees and guides. So it's an extra, it's a hundred bucks for the boat, US, and an extra $35 for the guides and entrance fees. On the hunt. I want to see some killing here. <laughs> some savagery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we want to see some deer shouting and crying. <laughs> Yeah. So dragon so nest. Do that like a nest. Ah, I do ayam. Yeah, yeah, it's a small one. The nests are big there. Hunt for a bigger one. Yeah. <laughs> are the bigger one. ones easier to find? Yeah, easier to find on the beach. Oh, okay, just on the beach. Yeah. It's on the okay. beach because, you know, they are cold bodied for a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, so they just they, they want like all the sun. Hot temperature like this. Okay. Oh, of course. And then, uh, so we're just walking along the route and. Um, Sounds like there aren't any dragons here. 
which could be really frustrating because we messed around at Pink Beach for, well, in total an hour and a half. It's, it's nearly midday and apparently the dragons are more active in the morning. So tell your tour guide to not dick around and get here in the morning. Apparently there are two big ones on the beach, so we're hot footing our way there. Because otherwise I am going to be angry. If in doubt, look for crowds of people. There's one under the bridge. There he is. Oh, he's just chilling. To be honest, thought that they would be bigger. Apparently they look bigger when they're walking, but one of the main problems, it's just loads of people. The guide was saying that yesterday he thought that there was, there was way too many people here. Everybody was trying to take pictures and it just didn't really work. Ooh, thought that might be a little more impressive than it was. I have to see what other people say. I'm always pessimistic. They're cool though, I just, I, I, for some reason I thought they'd be a lot bigger. They, they don't really, it's the middle of the day, they're just chilling. Got big fat claws though. Um, and their, their venom is interesting because it doesn't let the blood coagulate or something like that. I'm not a vet. Essentially when they bite you, you bleed more than you would from a normal bite, which makes it even more dangerous and they sort of just track down their prey over time and then consume them. Look how many people there are. Can't blame them. I'm part of the problem. So fucking stupid loop. Why are you getting what the f <laughs> people just walking really I'm close to it. Sorry for her, you know? So I, I can be pessimistic. What's your view so far? Yeah, it's, it's a tourist trap a bit, you know. Just make sure if you get a tour, maybe get a private one or make a, an impact on the schedule so you get really early and you can see a little bit more yeah. because this is just two old Komodos laying down. You don't <laughs> see so much, you know. But yeah, yeah the place is, is nice and the views are great. But it's not what you expect, you know. They're big as you thought they would be? <laughs> you said yeah, they were yeah, big yeah, as well yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I thought they were going to be bigger. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sophie, Bye. what was your opinion? It wasn't that special. <laughs> <laughs> do you want... feel let down? Let down? Yeah, do you feel disappointed? Not really, but I think it's too crowded for the dragons and they live here and you go yeah. just surround them. Yeah. And maybe they're a little bit afraid or something like this. I don't know. Did you think that they would be as big? Big? Yeah, yeah. I thought that they would be bigger. Ah, yeah, maybe, but maybe we only saw a small one. Yeah, but he said that was a big one. Really? Yeah. It was cool to see them, but it wasn't that special. Yeah, yeah, I didn't feel like, wow, this is an amazing yeah. moment. That's what you want to see. I want to see them fighting. You need to just get two males and let them fight it out. Yeah, yeah. This is a lie. It's all a lie. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. Bit of a letdown, gotta say. Um, but you know, if you came in the morning and you saw loads of them walking around, that might be completely different. Oh well, you live and you learn. Hopefully, this helps somebody else and they don't make the same mistake. We can make it up with manta rays next. Top that. <laughs>
<laughs> the day started so well. But the, the views are worth it. The view to Komodo and also to say that you were in Komodo Island. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the view this morning was really, it was a really peaceful morning. Let's see how we round this off. So as we were waiting for people, we went and got some beers and a Komodo dragon came along the pier. And it made such a big difference when it was moving. It was really cool. So I sort of semi take back what I said, but if we hadn't gone to get some beer, then we would never have seen it and we would have had the same opinion. It just followed us along the pier and it was, um, yeah, a lot cooler when it was moving instead of just almost hibernating um, in the middle of the day. So, glad that's happened. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Where are you going? Fuck's oh, sake. <laughs> Can't have my beer, man. Yeah, yeah. He's coming for the beer. <laughs> He's fucking speeding up, isn't he? <laughs> That was good. Uh, Enjoy that. that. Yeah. We are now on our way to Manta Point. Clear sky, not so clear sky. Hopefully it doesn't get too rainy, but time to relax the last sort of few hours. It's not all that bad. Things could be worse, I'll give you that. There are worse places to be.
that was I don't even know how many manta rays there were. That was ridiculous. Got nailed by a jelly. That was incredible. They're, they're probably still up there. <laughs> I reckon probably more than 10. Yeah. That was unreal. So close, Absolutely man. unreal. Yes, please. Don't know what to say.